guys aviation channel here today we're going to be unboxing this klm bonjam 37-800 in the 100th anniversary livery by herpa wings snap fit and uh, scale 1 to 200 so yeah let's just unbox this aircraft model Hello guys, Aviation Channel here. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing video. So the Q and A is a little bit delayed, unfortunately, because um, uh, uh, editing the Q and A is quite hard. But don't worry, I still I will still release my Q and A. But now let's just uh, take a look at the box and yeah so at the top it says herpa wings uh, uh it says actually herpa snap fit it says herpa miniature model then we got the herpa uh wings uh, logo we got snap fit here and then we got the herpa wings we got herpa we, we got the herpa wings logo again on the back side, we basically got the instructions on how to assemble the aircraft model. And it says www.herpa.de, which uh, basically, I believe, the domain name for Germany. So, yeah, now let's just take a now let's just take a look at the aircraft model and now let's just unbox it the aircraft model did came upside down but yeah it's totally fine so now let's just unbox this aircraft let's unbox it. i'm gonna be unboxing it like this now i'm gonna take the box and i'm gonna here we go we got the cradle It's time to remove it. I'm gonna leave a crate over here, and yeah, I'm gonna get the fuselage first. And the fuselage is very, very nice and has quite a lot of detail. We got the white one here, persuasion, very, very nice. I'll just get the stand. Oh, well, there's the stand. Let's just assemble that quickly. So it basically just slide it like here. It's a nice crystal clear stand with a display of the KLM logo. And now let's just go, uh, now let's just take out the wings. Wings has quite a nice uh, detail. We got the green light here. We got the KLM logo and wing lets, which is very very nice got the engine which Herpa does a, a very excellent engine mold and very nice physical detail at the back and also they carved out the flaps slats and spoilers now just to uh, take out the the upper engine and this time it has the registration now let's just take out the horizontal stabilizer uh, quite nice and now finally the vertical stabilizer with the KLM logo on it I'm gonna leave it right here and I'm gonna take the cradle and I'm gonna leave it on the side so yeah now let's just assemble this aircraft let's just assemble this aircraft model so we're gonna take the wing and we're going to do the, uh, we're gonna put the wings in first very nicely in now we're gonna take the Horizon stabilizer, we're gonna slide it here. Quite nicely fixed. Then we got the horizontal stabilizer, no, the vertical stabilizer, sorry. We're gonna take it and we're going to hold on, push it in. I'm going to control it, push it in. Okay, I'm trying to push it in. There you go. And then the final step is to put this on the display stand. 
and apparently it doesn't go all the way in but it looks very very nice so yeah now let's just take a look at the detail of the aircraft let's take a look at the detail so at the side we got the cockpit windows and at the top of the cockpit windows i don't know if you can see this but we got the two last letters of the registration uh of the registration of the aircraft we got the sky team and then klm and air france now i believe we got the name of this aircraft uh, i don't know what uh, the name is uh, the name is pintail and uh, yeah we got the klm with a little crown and royal dutch airlines we got the l1 no we got the passenger door we got the 100th anniversary of klm that's the logo i believe we got the emergency exit and yeah now let's just take a look at the wings the wings has uh, a nice amount of detail it shows the flaps slats and spoilers and the winglet has the klm logo and yeah so as the engine it has the klm logo and the silver leading edge you can see very nicely the fan blades and how proud the engine is and which is a good job from herpa and we also got a very nice physical detailing of the engine so we got the emergency exit doors and when we go past the blue line we got the registration uh, ph dash bgc and we also got the flying dutchman right there we got the cargo compartments here you go have the front and have the back and then here we got the uh, the, the passenger door now we got what aircraft it is it says here boeing 737 dash 800 now we got the a vertical stabilizer which uh, has the klm logo we got the apu exhaust and we got some nice detail on the horizontal stabilizer so yeah what do i think of this aircraft model um i think it's actually quite a lovely model and um yeah it definitely resembles the 737 i especially love the mold of the 737 from purple it looks excellent the print quality is extremely good and the amount of detail on the um, uh, snap fit model this has i would say it's uh, worth buying it and uh, yeah now <clears throat> i believe this is around 16 euros and I don't know how to convert it to um, what do you call a uh, US dollars. But uh, yeah, it looks extremely nice. And yeah, I'll say it's worth buying it. And yeah. So and that's it for today. I really hope you enjoy uh, today's video. Be sure to smash a like, the like button and subscribe so you won't miss out on any other videos. And yeah, bye.